about a minute to film this intro. Good morning guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. It is another day in Tokyo and I am actually heading off to an Airbnb experience today. If you guys don't know, Airbnb not only do residencies, but they also have experiences that locals can host. So you can go and explore parts of the country that you're visiting with someone who's actually local. So I've actually booked an experience today. I am going on a Totoro hike. So if you have seen the movie My Neighbor Totoro, it is set in a beautiful country town. And this tour is actually going to the town that inspired the film. I can't wait. It is currently about 10 to 8, so I need to get going because I need to get a taxi to go to Ikebukuro Station. I was going to catch the train, but I've seen videos of train stations at peak hour and I wasn't gonna do it. So I'm gonna go grab a taxi, head to Ikebukuro Station, and then we're gonna go on the tour. So let's go. Look at this, I'm glad I didn't take the train. Guys, it's a good time of train. So we just left Ikebukuro station, we're at a new station right now, about to catch a bus to the country town, so it's a lot of travelling today. taken a little break at this nature museum so it's like a preservation center and then also a museum they are the uh, gabicho bird they sing noisily but beautiful So we've just stopped off at this beautiful hill. We are surrounded by mountains. You can see them behind me. I can also see the town in the distance. It's beautiful and quiet here. So we're gonna stop here and have some lunch. I think we're gonna head to a tea factory and plantation later in the afternoon. And then we're gonna visit Korosuke's house and see a really big Totoro as well.
house and now we're heading to the tea factory just across the road. guys an award-winning one <laughs> Hey guys, I'm back at my apartment now. I didn't really film much on the way back just because I was so tired. Basically, we just took the bus back from Tokorozawa to Koe, Koetoshi? Koetashi station, I think. It's just the rail station in Tokorozawa. And then from there, we went to Ikebukuro station. And then I caught the train from Ikebukuro to Shibuya. And then I walked from Shibuya. Home. But all in all, for a first Airbnb experience, it was really, really fun. AG, who was our host who took us around on the tour, was super, super knowledgeable. He knew pretty much everything that there was to know about the different plants, flowers, nature, the actual area itself. I learned so much today and I came out of it feeling a little bit smarter. <laughs> I also loved seeing Kurosuke's house, which is the house that my neighbor Totoro was based off of. There is a giant Totoro at the entrance as well, but as you guys saw from the footage, there is like a pillar there. If you want my advice, guys, remove the pillar. <laughs> but it's still like really cool to see anyway. If you guys do want to see like a giant Totoro that's life-size, I recommend you go to Gion in Kyoto, where they've got a Studio Ghibli dedicated store, which is near, I'm pretty sure it's near the Hello Kitty Cafe in just kind of like in the side streets of Gion, really, really close to the Kiyomizudera drop-off point. There are two side streets that go off the main road and then you can go down one of them. I just can't remember which one. And there is a Studio Ghibli store. It's the Donburi or Donguri store. So maybe you can Google that. <laughs> but there is a life-size Totoro there as well. I think I've got a photo when I went with Jess. I'll put it here so you guys can see. And then we visited the tea plantation just across the road as well. And that was beautiful. We got to taste some of the award-winning green tea, learn all about how it's made, how it's planted harvested the whole process then we got to see the factory as well thank you so much ag for taking me around i had a really good time and to all the guys that i met in today's tour i hope you had as much fun today as i did tomorrow i've actually got another airbnb experience booked basically it's a bento making class where you can make character bentos they are just really adorable lunch boxes where you know the rice and the the fillings are kind of decorated in a way that it looks like a character like it's so cute I'm pretty sure, judging from the photos, it's actually going to be Totoro-themed bento as well. That might just be the photos on Airbnb, but I think that's what we're going to be making. So fingers crossed, because as you guys can probably tell, I love Totoro. <laughs> so that is what I'm getting up to tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, and I will see you in tomorrow's one. Bye. Now dinner time, I'm so hungry. Mm -hmm.